Hello there you guys, welcome back to Fancy Life. Today we're going to be heading our way through, heading on our way, sorry, through Mount Snow Peak, uh, completing some more of our quests and such. Last time we were running through this waterfall cave um, and doing some of our caterpillar cockroach killing, I don't know what those things were to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're going to be continuing up Mount Snow Peak. This area is a little bit dangerous, just a tiny bit. Um, it's, it's a decent challenge, how about that? It's- ooh, hoo, 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 hi friend! I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> it, it's not- like, you know, if, if you're not careful, it could kill you, but it isn't, like, incredibly hard and you're never gonna get through sort of thing either. Okay, so- ooh, hi! I knew there was enemies that spawned here! <laughs> Oh man, I was just gonna say, it's daytime again, and now look, it's turning to night. We were in there for quite a while, it seems. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way. He is a bounty, after all, and we can hand those in for extra dosh and such. There we go. Oh, there's a buffalo. I knew there was enemies here during the day. We had up here during uh, nighttime last time. Here you go. A special dispatch from the Castell Guild office. If you have any bounties, I can process them here. There you go. 450. Don't mind if I do. Look at us. So close to 15,000. And there's a thick thing, so I do not mind. <laughs> or as the children would say, thick with like a bajillion C's. I honestly don't understand that, you guys. <laughs> Okay, so, this is kind of a cool place. He honestly looks like he's not wearing anything right now. I'm pretty sure he is, though. Don't worry, it's fine. But if you take a quick look around the room, and if you know this game at all, you might recognize certain objects and just little things here and there that point to different lives in this game. I'm the Life King of Master Mamal. They call me the Crowned Champion. Welcome, welcome, young whippersnapper. In my best life, I was a legendary paladin admired by children all across the land. What do you think of all the weapons and items I've collected back in my salad days? Pretty spiffy, wouldn't you say? If you can make use of them, then browse away. So he is actually a shop, um, and he will sell items to you for any life that you have. Um, so we can see that he actually has some very decent stuff here. Um, this is the sword we currently have. This is the next level up, and I'm very tempted, not gonna lie. I might actually just buy that. We have been saving money. You know, I feel like we, we deserve to spend it, you know? Why not? So there's an iron sword. We can equip that now. Um, we're not really dealing with shields at the moment, so I'm gonna skip over that. It's probably a bad decision, but oh well. Um, let's see, what do I have on? I have iron... Let's see, the Paladin armor is 5 defense, the iron armor is 14. Okay, so we currently have iron boots, let's get the rest of the iron set, I guess. Oh, and there's female and male only items, as you can see there. Yes, yeah, so the Paladin leg guards are 3, the iron leg guards are 10, so this is definitely worth it. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and buy the rest of the, pal uh, the iron armor then. So we already have the boots. Let's get the gauntlets. Um, let's get the leg guards. We can equip that now. The armor itself. And we can also get the helmet, which unfortunately is gonna cover up our little our little cat ears for Bob, but that's okay. We'll know they're under there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we have the full iron set. Um and that's about it for now. So if I was to go to another life, I believe they would have uh, the stuff for that life. I don't know if he has the stuff for every single life you've ever done, or if it's literally whatever life you're currently in. Don't hold back now, kitty wink. Bye bye bye. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can sell actually. Um, so we're just gonna get rid of the stuff that we had before. Just make back a little bit of the money that we had. Um, I'm gonna sell everything but one bronze dag dagger. I don't want to have too much stuff in my inventory. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, but... Oh, you know what? I'm kind of sentimental. I don't really want to get rid of our original armor. 
I can't remember if there's if there's mannequins in this game. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the uh, original armor on it in my house somewhere. I think that sounds cute. Um, crafting fancy designs that could be useful for our crafting lives. I might keep that. And this is, it's a bit more expensive too, which indicates that it might be more useful. Uh, whoops! No, no, don't sell those. I can sell those though. Um, there's a shield, there's glasses. Did I not put those on? Do I not have those equipped? What do I have equipped right now? How about this? The old crown champion will help you out. If you can make it to the master rank, I'll sell you a really powerful sword. Did that light a fire under your britches? <laughs> okay, so here's our new outfit. We're looking pretty darn spiffy. Um, let's go into our gear. You can see our face here. Unfortunately, we lost our cat ears under the helmet, but that's okay. Um, what accessory do I have on right now? Oh, I have the cave! No wonder. I feel like the glasses are like the most worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> I love having our cape, but like... Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, we're good to go, you guys. Oh, we are so cute. <laughs> Look at our little face. Okay, let's head forward, shall we, now that we're all equipped. Ooh. Okay, so these are the serpents that we are looking for on Mount Snow Peak, and also look at how much damage we're doing with this new sword. Very nice. I think we have to kill more than just one of them though, so... Let's see, here's another two. Awesome. Yeah, we do a whole lot more damage with this sword, and I'm sure we take a lot less, uh, a lot less damage as well if we actually get hit. <laughs> Cashmere. <laughs> okay. Let me grab that. Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Also, I love that you can see the area down below. Like, we've been there. We've literally been there. That's the waterfall cave over there. This is far too massive for a 3DS game, you guys. I have no clue how they did it. <laughs> okay, cool. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen him move that fast. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find any more of those serpents. There's another cashmere. It's a monument created by the crown champion to commemorate mastering each life. Greetings, noble traveler. Perhaps you were seeking guidance in your life. Having achieved mastery of each life myself, I can offer you these pearls of wisdom. No matter what else happens, enjoy your life and make it your own. Gadzooks. Gadzooks? What? Yes, I'm so confused. The crown champion, Gladstone Stone. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Gadzooks. What is that? Cashmere. Ooh! Okay, that, I think, is one of our bounty friends. And he's really intimidating looking. Um, is there anything else here? There's a chest over- oh, he's really scary looking in front. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna nip up ahead and see if there's any more of the snakes first off. I'm gonna guess there aren't. Yeah, no, here is the actual t like tip top of the mountain. So we'll be heading there eventually. Um, let's see here. Yeah, here's the guy. Okay. Um, so Oh, okay, this isn't so bad. So our dog does like no damage to it, but we do some decent damage. So I'm not all that concerned. There we go. Look at us go. Bob, you are looking so spiffy in those glasses. <laughs> okay, let's take this guy down. Because uh, this is one of the ones that we had a, a quest for, I believe, for the bounty life? No, sorry, bounty life. <clears throat> for the uh, paladin life for a bounty quest. My apologies for the bounty life, you guys. What am I saying? Okay, let's weave our way back down here. Um, I'm 90% sure we have to fight more rock serpents. But there aren't any more spawning here, so we'll have to wait. There you go. That's a nice fanged ape you have there. Good job. 
I can pay you 900 dosh for it. That is just fine by me. Very nice. We're back up above 10,000. There's the quest complete. Oh, and a strong fang. So I don't know if we need those for anything right now, but perhaps in the future we will. Um, so let me go back in here. The reason being is I'm trying to reset the outside area, hopefully. Oh, jeez. He is literally just wearing like a diaper or something, I swear. Um, let's head back outside. And hopefully the rock serpents have respawned. Although it might be nighttime creatures right now. Oh, nope, they're here. Perfect. Okay, let's go grab those. So I think if we needed five, we probably only need one more of those. And there's two right here. There we go. Snake bash complete. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at our quest here. How are we doing? I think we're doing pretty decently. Um, we're missing the beetle baller, of course. And we've completed every single other paladin challenge. So that's great. Um, we can hand that one in. I think we can hand that one in when we're handing this one in. <laughs> um, cabbages. We can head back there really quickly and grab the remaining cabbages that we need. I think we only need two more. We didn't find any of those, but we need... I think we need to be a woodcutter, pretty much. And we didn't get any of those. But we can probably start heading way, our way back down to Castell now. I'm gonna nip over to Farley's plantation. Though, really quickly, and see if I can't, uh... Can't get two more cabbages. And then I think our, our next course of action will be to head back to Castell and hand in what we've done. I think that will level up our paladin life again. Which is great, it unlocks more quests and stuff like that. Um, but we should also probably do story stuff. <laughs> we should probably hand in our flutter quests and such and progress with the story. Because if you look on our lower, uh, our bottom screen, just below our time bar, you can see... Our current ongoing thing is literally just explore Castel, or, or sorry, explore Riveria, Riveria freely. So that's pretty much your sign that like, you're just allowed to wander. <laughs> you don't have to really do anything specific right now, but we can progress the story. Okay, let's head over to Farley's Plantation really quickly. Did I get all the mustards? <laughs> I just realized we had a mustard quest from last time. Yes, we did. Okay, perfect. I couldn't remember if we did it or not. Oh, there's another spook. <laughs> okay. Um, so Farley's Plantation is like literally right here. Um, and hopefully because we've been through, like, you know, so many screens by now. They'll have respawned. Perfect, here we go. So that's one, there's two, there's three, and I'm pretty sure that was actually more than we needed. So we can head back now, and I think that is just handed into the farmer. Just before you enter actually the main city. It's kind of a little bit of a pain in this game, I find, to remember who gave you what quest. Um, you can look on your quest screen on the map and it'll tell you like which location the quest came from, but it doesn't tell you like specifically who gave it to you, so it's a little bit of a pain. You kind of have to remember a little bit or just talk to everyone and hope for the best. See, running into stuff, coyotes even. <laughs> Nearly there. Now, normally I'd have this guy transport me back quickly to Castell, but I do want to talk to the farmer dude, so. Gosh, I can't get over Bob's little glasses. He's like, he's like in his little knight armor or whatever, but he like looks like such a little nerd under there. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I think it was this guy over here. And... I think he's inside right now. It's the same guy who we did the radish and the... I know at least the carrotes, maybe not the radishes. 
Hey, listen to this. I went to the grassy plains the other day and I met some of them naughty carroties. But the shocking thing was how much they looked just like me, carroties. <laughs> this be a disaster. I can't have any carrots mistaken for them. Oh. Wait, it wasn't you? Are you serious? Okay, fine. It wasn't him. <laughs> but we got another quest. Gosh darn it. Oh, well. Okay. Um, who was it then? Jeez. So, let's see here. And then if you click X, you can see the issuer. Oh, Reggie from the shopping district. Okay, so you can kind of see where everything comes from. So we can hand in this one for the guy in the middle. This one is from the West Grassy Plains. This one is also from the shopping district. And that one is from right here. Okay. I think I know who to go to now. So I know that this guy on the bridge is the one who asked for the... for the uh, sleep powder. Oh, I need five? I only got three, gosh darn it. I thought it was three. I'm just gonna leave that guy for now. <laughs> he can deal with it. Um, I could've sworn it was three. This guy's the one who needed the sleep antidotes and we we're gonna get that from, from the other guy, so. I need to head back to the uh, Hanawa cave. Okay. Hopefully everyone is out. Here's Reggie. Have you returned with what I asked for? Five cabbages? You have? Come on, let me try them then. Better you than me. I don't like cabbage very much. Farley, you rogue. Your cabbage could pound mine into the dirt. Now we got a whole bunch of eggs. <laughs> and 200 dosh. I need to really work on upping my cabbage game. Oh, I'm so ashamed. You should be, sir. Okay, no. Um, Selma, I don't think... Who are you? One day, one day, the sky will start to fall. One day, one day, Lunaros will show a big X. My grandma used to sing this song to me. It's got a good tune to it. I... If you say so. <laughs> oh, you can see the guy drawing on the wall. <laughs> Was it someone in here who needed the other thing? I forget who needed it. Gosh darn it. I have like the memory of a goldfish, you guys. Tilly, Alfredo's- oh, the beast. It's the pancake person, wasn't it? Vaguely, I think I remember something to do with pancakes. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think it's right up here. I never really go in here. I think this is where you do the cooking life, but I've never bothered with it. Oh look, you got him. Ten baskets of eggs. Thank you so much. I'll just take them off your hands. Ten lovely baskets of eggies. Thank you. Here's your reward, as promised. 200 dosh. And that was it. But that's fine. How about all that egg hunting made you really hungry? How about a bite at Alfredo's? Best nosh in town. What do you want right now, dude? Hail, newbie. You seem to be settling in pretty well. Allow me to present you with, well, a present. By which I mean a challenge, buddy. See, there's an iron go- oh. That's the big guy we saw last episode, if you guys remember, and I pretty much noped out of existence. <laughs> You'll do that, won't you? I'll handle it myself, but the market won't protect itself. Going, going, golem. Oh boy, I don't think we're gonna do that one for a while. Oh, your cooking is on form as ever, and yet I detect that something is missing, but what could it be? Say, do you know how to cook? How about an apprentice- oh. Sorry, I don't- I don't cook. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to refuse that for now. Sorry. 
I thought he might have had something I could actually do. Okay. And then the mustard was for the guy in the center of town. Actually, what does she want? Have you met that weird guy in the east? I was chatting to him earlier, but he just kept going on and on about milk. Oh, sorry, not a fan of gossip? Oh, right. Hey, are you busy right now? Could I ask you a favor? I want three plains eels. Oh, no, this is a fishing quest. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn that down for now. We're gonna do fishing, I think, is our next life, just because I, I love fishing in this game. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I was so excited, I thought it was gonna be something that I could do again. <laughs> I've been let down. Uh, there's the old man. Are those the three jars of mustard I wanted? You actually got them. Spicy, hot, fiery mustard sandwiches for tea. Oh, gross. <laughs> yes, your reward. Enjoy them. Dueling bottoms. <laughs> And 200 dodge. I think the pants we have on now are gonna beat any pants he's gonna give us. But, uh, I'll take those dueling bottoms. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see what those are actually all about. Um... Yeah, they're not as good as what we have right now, unfortunately. Light trousers worn to take part in a duel. Be challenged by your foe, not your clothes. <laughs> okay, so those are just for any life. We're just gonna leave those. Um, let's see here. I think maybe what we should do is hand in our flutter quests. I'm debating handing in our flutter quests or handing in our paladin quests. I think flutter is probably- no, let's do paladin. Maybe- I, yeah, no, yes. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we got this. What did you want? Oh. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stare, but you look very much like someone who helped me earlier. What? Didn't we help this guy get rid of a whole bunch of bandits? It happens, uh, it so happens that I need a brave adventurer to help me bring back law and order to the plains. Do you know about the bandit attacks taking place on the east grassy plains? It's the bandit leaders who are causing the most trouble. Could you please defeat three of them? I can reward you with three life cures. Ooh. This one's worth it, and we can definitely take those guys out, no no problem. Especially with our new armor and sword. Gosh darn it, look at me. I, I hand in a bunch of quests and then I take on a, like a bajillion more. Okay, so we did everything except for the uh, beetle rollers. A good paladin is like a good mustache. I protect the citizens like a mustache protects the upper lip against the bitter cold. Now then, let us see how you're coming along. I have no clue how much we needed to progress, but I think we got this. <laughs> yep, we got it. <laughs> Become an adept paladin. Awesome. The Luminaire skill, I believe that's pronounced. And the Cast Iron Shield skill. I'm gonna have to actually start carrying around a shield now. <laughs> Impressive indeed! Welcome to the ranks of the Adept. Adept, sorry. Uh, would appear the townsfolk are beginning to speak quite highly of you. Your success is the source of much pride. There's nothing better than justice at work. Awesome, so there's that done, and of course we can talk to our fellow paladins for rewards and challenges. What, the adept rank already? Oh man, first Rosalind, now you outrank me? But you're a good kid, I'm pleased for you. Here, I've got some information that you might be able to deal with. It seems some troublesome, angry zombies have been appearing in Tortuga. I cannot pronounce this word, I think it's pronounced archipelago? Archipelago? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've never been able to pronounce that word. I hear they're causing quite a bit of trouble. Why don't I deal with it? Uh, well, I'm actually incredibly busy. Isabel is always giving me tough jobs to do. We'll do that in a little bit. We have actually not even reached that part of the story yet, so... Um... Do you have something for me? I see you're burning the midnight oil. Splendid. Remember, evil does not sleep, nor does justice. Let's chat, sir. 
This is our base of operations. From here, our paladins patrol not just Castell, but all of Riveria. We must always have our wits about us when we travel. Keep that in mind as you journey forth. Oh, is that all? He just wanted to... No, is there something else? Does he always have that little question mark? Impressive, you've not forgotten to greet your captain. Truly the sign of one destined for good. Uh, now, allow me to bestow upon you a reward to commemorate your entrance. Oh, I should have spoken to him a while ago, I guess. Well, I mean, that's useful now, so... Oh, still more talking to do. Let's see here. The new recruit. I take it you had time to properly acquaint yourself with the other guys. This is kind of silly. I'm so sorry. I should have spoken to him sooner. If you had the chance to visit our former comrade in arms up in Mount Snow Peak? If you have not, I recommend you do. It's helpful to meet those who have served long before you. I'm sure he'd be most pleased to know you have mastered the lightning strike technique. Be sure to show him your most your utmost respect. While justice may be swift and unwavering, it's never rude. Okay, yes, we already learned how to do that. <laughs> okay, is there more? Seem you've been working quite hard. Most excellent to hear. Pray tell, have you been able to make use of the luminaire skill I taught you? That skill represents the blinding light of justice. In fact, it was that very skill that saw the gnat dragon slain by my hand. As a paladin, your special skill gauge will fill up as you attack. When your special skill gauge is full, you unleash a powerful special skill attack by pressing X. Yeah, so pretty much we have to build that one up before we can just use it. Okay, let's see if we can't find our fellow paladins here. I'm not sure where Isabel hangs out. Maybe down by the horses. Um, we now know where, I think it's Portos, hangs out. He hangs out in the... In the bistro at night. <laughs> Anyone here? Okay, she hangs out here. Rosalind hangs out here. Wow, congrats on getting the apprentice. Oh, <laughs> I should have spoken to her a while ago, too. Speaking of which, did Captain Muskang end up teaching you the lightning strike technique? He did? Well then, maybe I could give you a little advice from one paladin to another. You can't execute lightning strike without SP. It's like trying to put your armor on in the dark. But trust me, it's a move worth using. And if you keep using sword techniques, your long skill or your long sword skill will improve in no time. Why, I bet we're both ready to take on the nap dragon to finally put it to bed. Paladins are always ready to defend Castell against dastardly drowsy dragons. So, ready to spend or dispense some Castell justice? Oh dear. That is a very hard quest that I'm not going to touch with a 10-foot pole for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm not sure where... Where, um, Isabel hangs out, but I know where Poet Horse is, so let's go speak to him, because he's probably going to have something for us. I'm trying to think of where she might hang out. I'm guessing maybe on the other side, like in like that wooded area maybe, but I'm honestly not too sure. You're really giving it your all out there, huh? How about a little extra help on the battlefield? If you ever want my assistance, just give me a shout. Oh, best not forget to pack my lunchbox too. Can't very well operate on an empty stomach, can I? You can now invite Portos to your party whenever you like. So yeah, we can now have him journeying along with us, and we made an ally for the first time, which is pretty exciting. So I think we can just hit X and then Y? Invite to join party? Yes. So I think we can actually just like run around with him now and Popper, I believe? There we go! <laughs> So we got him with us. We can't really talk to him. We can actually even like walk right through him when he's here, but he can help us fight. I think he's more of like a tank than anything else, if I remember correctly, but yeah, we have him with us now, so that's pretty cool. And then I think eventually we will be able to unlock the other paladins as uh, party members. I think. It's been a while. Anyways, guys, I think... I think it's about time to end this episode here. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. When we return, we are finally going to progress with some story stuff because it's been a long time coming. Um, 
But yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching.